Hey, hey. Mm. Well, welcome to the broadcast, which is a little late today, must admit. <laughs> a little bit. It'll be close to 5.30 somewhere in the world. So if you're watching from there, then we're only 11 minutes late. Okay. But if you're watching from southeast Queensland, then we're an hour and 11 minutes. You know, these are rewatchable, so... <laughs> yes. Valid any time. So it might just be a short one because the mince is on the stove. Anyway, Breakthrough Bible Institute launching tomorrow. How exciting is that? That is exciting, which explains why we are late. Yes, and the revamped Play Cafe... Yes, will be Wednesday. happening Wednesday. Hello, hey, Di, Di Wilson. Great to see you. Which also explains why we are like plenty to do. Plenty to do. The grass is growing here in southeast Queensland That's at a true. furious rate, uh, which is so. If you go to Breakthrough Centre and you enjoy going to Breakthrough Centre, you could volunteer to mow the lawn. <laughs> Just saying. Hello, Andrew. Hi, Andrew. Fantastic. That, that would be, or if you don't, you know, if you want to volunteer in my lawn, it'd be great. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. It's actually pretty fun on the ride on. Yeah. Yeah. This is time consuming. Yeah, it takes time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, very yeah. good. All right. Well, we've been talking around the topic of prayer and fasting. I really feel as though we broke through on day eight. Day s No. Yeah, it was day eight. Sunday was day eight. Day six, seven, and eight. During that time, there was a breakthrough. Oh, so Di's happy. To finally She's catch you both life. live. Yes. Well, there you go. You see, all things were working That's together right. for good for those who love God. Di's caught us live, whereas normally she misses us. Maybe we'll start a new time of. Um, I just thought, oh yeah, Wi-Fi's on. Should be yeah. of six thirty. No, right, we'll keep it at five thirty. All right, but let's read these scriptures around the topic of that? prayer and fasting. Yeah, go for it. Is that Hebrews? Hebrews 13, 15. Hebrews 13, 15. Through Jesus, therefore, let us continually offer to God a sacrifice of praise, the fruit of lips that openly profess his name, and do not forget to do good and to share with others, for with such sacrifices God is pleased. Have confidence in your leaders and submit to their authority because they keep watch over you as those who must give an account. Do this so that their work will be a joy, not a burden, for that would be of no benefit to you. Very good. All right, prayer and fasting, a, a sacrifice, it is also a, a sacrifice of submission to God. Right. There you go. That can be the title, something like that. Prayer and fasting, a sacrifice of submission to God. Hmm. What are the sacrifices that we do under the new covenant? Hey, Is Ian. prayer and fasting a legit sacrifice? It's okay, don't worry about trying to comment. <laughs> <laughs> what did she say? She's talking about it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we know you love it. Yeah. Is it a legit sacrifice or am I whistling Dixie? No, it actually is. I believe it is. This one, this scripture is speaking about, through Jesus, therefore, let us continually offer God a sacrifice of praise, the fruit of lips that openly profess his name. That's part of the sacrifices in the new covenant, is the sacrifice of praise, speaking, um, professing his name out loud, giving thanks to God. That's a sacrifice with which God is pleased also doing good and sharing with others and also prayer and fasting well where am i getting that from good question um 1 corinthians 7 3 to 3 to what 7 5 okay I think. Let the husband render to his wife the affection due her, and also, and likewise also the wife her husband. The wife does not have authority over her own body, but the husband does. And likewise, the husband does not have authority over his own body, but the wife does. Do not deprive one another, except with consent, for a time that you may give yourselves to fasting and prayer, and come together again, so that Satan does not tempt you because of your lack of self-control. Right. Many times reading that scripture... Hey, Charles. Everyone just focuses on the relationship between the husband and wife. But did you catch what it said in verse 5? 
that's why I brought the topic first so that you would be thinking about the sacrifice yeah. of yourselves to God through the means of prayer and fasting. Read verse 5 again. Do not pr deprive one another except with consent for a time that you may give yourselves to fasting and prayer and come um, together again so that Satan does not tempt you because of your lack of self-control. Yeah. Giving yourselves to fasting and prayer. Right. You're giving of yourself to fasting and prayer. Romans 12. Yeah. This one. This one. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. Amen. So, there you go. You present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God. Right. Part of the way that we can do that, present our bodies as a living sacrifice, is, I believe, through the means of prayer and fasting. I love how... It, how it speaks about submission with the husband and wife and the husband doesn't have authority over his body, wife doesn't either, but there's, there's a, a mutual submission between them both. Mm -hmm. And then even in Hebrews 13, 15 to 17, it's talking about the authority, have confidence in your leaders and submit to their authority. And it's talking about... Um, a sacrifice of praise, the fruit of your lips and what you're speaking and this kind of thing. So how fascinating that all of these themes are flowing throughout all of these scriptures. Hmm. That through prayer and fasting, you, you, can, you can give of yourself to prayer and fasting for a time and in agreement with your husband and wife and not come together for that time, but have, prayer, have a time of prayer and fasting. And have it be that you are presenting yourself as a living sacrifice to God, holy and acceptable. And this is your reasonable service. Some, some people might think that they're really doing God a tremendous, you know, you get a tremendous gold star because, well, they don't fast as Christians. And, you know... It sounds like a I, Pharisee to me. Yeah, and, and yeah, like be careful if that starts to <clears> enter in. Because really... Presenting your whole selves, your bodies, as a living sacrifice to God is just doing what's reasonable. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's it's just, just reasonable. reasonable service. Yeah. It's like, you know, that's you breathing. You how, how can that be reasonable? Well, I believe it's reasonable because of what it says in, at the start of the verse. verse. And it, it says it in, I think, King James, just straight King James, in view of God's mercy. Present your bodies as a living sacrifice. That's right. That's when it becomes the reasonable service. That's right. Is that when in view of God's mercy, yeah. it is completely reasonable. It's not over and above like an yeah, you like, know, gold you star. Wow, wow, incredible. Well no, done. it's in view when God's mercy is in view, living your whole life for him, sacrificing your body living every day for Jesus is doing what is reasonable when his mercy is in view. Like when his mercy, when you catch a glimpse of his mercy, it is perfectly reasonable that I give him my whole life. It's not like, oh, well, Lord, it's reasonable that I give you 65% and then I'm going to live the other mm. parts and I'm going to do it this way because, you know, I'll give you some, but I'm going to kind of do my own thing here. No, 100% is reasonable when his mercy is in view. When you see what he's done for us, it's like when his mercy isn't in view, when you start to think, well, God, you, you've helped me somewhat, but uh, really I'm not that interested and his mercy is out of view, then, then maybe it is easier to start just living your own way again. Yeah. So I just want to encourage you. I want to, that to keep his mercy in view, to not think that you're doing God a tremendous favor and that you're getting like all of these gold stars before God in a sense of prideful, like we fast, but they don't like fasting and prayer, living that kind of a lifestyle is doing what is reasonable really is. 
um, because he's so good. Yeah. We, we would be lost without him. We wouldn't have his presence. We wouldn't. We'd be going to a lost eternity. We had no way of getting out of sins without Jesus coming and taking the sins off of us, taking them upon himself and paying the penalty for them on Calvary's cross. We had no way of navigating through death and getting to life and life eternal, knowing God without yeah. Jesus. Right. Keep his mercy in view when you're praying and fasting. Don't think that ever think that it's your works that's going to get you something because of your works. Even praying and fasting helps his mercy come into view greater. And that's the process of of revelation. Rory B. Brimblecomb. Great to have you on. God that's loves you so much, boy. Rory. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. That's right. It's been so long since um, since I've said that. Well done. Well done, Rory. I can hear Jessica screaming. So I'll see Listen, you Bye. it's time. It'll be roll call shortly and we'll be heading to the... Di oh, no. It'll be time for prep. Anyway, um, prep's coming to an end, but do you know that God loves you so much enough to send Jesus? If you don't, I encourage you to pray that God would make himself real to you. And just say this with your lips out loud and believe it in your heart and God can come and do a work on the inside of you. This is why we live. This is why we, we live now, Rory, is to tell people about Jesus because God's made such a difference in our life and we just want to share it with everybody. So thank you so much for watching. Just pray this out loud. Mean it from your heart. Dear God, I'm sorry for my sins. Thank you for sending Jesus. I receive your forgiveness. <laughs> Thank you that God is my father. Heaven is my home. And I won't turn back. In Jesus' name. Amen. Saying that out loud can begin a relationship with God. When you believe it in your heart and speak it out of your mouth and you mean business with God, he'll mean business with with you and he'll speak to you he'll make himself real to you so i hope that was encouraging for you all so good we will try our best to be back tomorrow at approximately 5 30 what day is tomorrow tuesday fantastic as we have the launch of breakthrough bible institute at 15 blake street Toowoomba, Wilsonton. If you're anywhere in the Toowoomba area on a Sunday at 10 a.m., we'd love to see you there at Breakthrough Center, 15 Blake Street, Wilsonton. And if you want to give um, financially to the ministry or to help us tell people about Jesus, you know what? We, we're we part of a giving church. It's awesome. I heard about how much was given recently, and i tell you what. I'm encouraged. So if you want to give, I will put the link of the website so that you can just follow the links and give to the website. You can give through the website. It will it will show you there. And it's actually pretty easy to do now. It wasn't before, but now it is. So that'd be awesome. All right, there it is. Fantastic. God bless you, Charles Babu. God bless India. Hallelujah. We give to Wards Charles Babu over there in India. And um, he was a great help to Pastor Alan and Robin. For all we know, um, Pastor Alan Small might have still been lost in India to this day had it not been for Charles Babu, <laughs> who's in, watching the broadcast right now. So, so we appreciate it. <laughs> Charles said, "Amen." <laughs> oh, awesome! Hey, is that Ben Richardson? Good to see you, my friend. God bless you. Hope hope to see you Sunday, and God bless you all. See you later.